All right. I think, Mario, if you're cool, I think we'll probably get started. Yeah, let's go. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. So welcome, everybody, for this edition of the Vasari Connects webinars. Uh, as you know, we have been doing these since the lockdown, and it's been an amazing way to share knowledge about this specific niche, which is exhibitions, art, technology. And today's uh, webinar is really something that I'm super excited to be talking about which is, we, we titled it Quid Pro Quo, The Logistics of Exhibiting Digital Art. And that title actually came from a conversation between Mario and myself about this webinar. So we'll, by listening, you'll figure out why it's called Quid Pro Quo. But um, what we uh, are going to be unlocking a little bit is we're, we're going to talk about creating digital art, exhibiting it, and then also preserving and selling it and kind of just all of the all of the nooks and crannies around that. Uh, the plan is that we'll have a bit of a discussion and then we will open it up to Q&A and we will finish within the hour so that you can go back to work to whatever you're doing. So um, without further ado, I'm going to ask Mario to please introduce himself if you want to. Thank you so much. And then thank you everybody for, for joining in. Well, I hope I have something interesting to say. Um, well, my name is Mario Klingemann and uh, I'm an artist who works since, I don't know, I've worked since 30 years. I'm creating digital art, I guess. And I guess I can say since about 15 years, I'm an artist. So, cause that's the other thing with digital work that like, I don't know, it took a while until it was accepted like everywhere. Um, I guess I start by, by just showing a few of my, my works so you hopefully remember me. So um, yeah, so since about, uh, well, five, six years, I have pretty much started working a lot with, well, what we call AI art now. So I create with GANs and neural networks, mostly imagery. Uh, what you see here is the Butcher Sun, which has kind of got me an award, the Lumen Prize, and is now also in the permanent collection of the v and um, I create also physical works, which combine the digital and, uh, well, and, and physical things. So in this case, this is Memories of Passersby, which uh, actually in this cabinet is a computer which creates what you see on those screens in real time. It was also like two years ago auctioned at uh, Sotheby's uh, for like as the second AI artwork, but I didn't make it for the first. And uh, as we know, that's always very important. Um, oh. Where is my, so, oh yeah, I had also uh, did a, was artist in residence at Google Arts and Culture in Paris. Um, I think that was four, no, five years ago. So where I worked um, kind of Google Arts and Culture has this huge uh, database of uh, cultural artifacts by collaborating and helping institutions, museums and collections all over the world. And since I'm very interested in working with uh, cultural data and uh, kind of analyzing images, texts, and metadata, I could kind of uh, play around there with the technology they had and, the, and of course the data. And uh, what you see here is called X degrees of separation, which was an installation I built kind of within that residency where I find connections or kind of like yeah, pathways between any two cultural artifacts on a, by kind of interpolating between them and finding matching, uh, kind of matching objects and artworks. So yeah, so you start with a painting and end with a sculpture and the machine kind of by analyzing the visual data finds intermediate artworks, which I always find a very interesting way, but we might get into like how kind of using now these new technologies, we can look at culture and well, our whole perception in a, well, from a different angle. Um, I, yeah, this is uh, Uncanny Mirror, which is also an interactive installation I, I created, which is, has been shown in different places around the world. It's again, like an AI mirror, which creates kind of shows 
kind of people that look into the mirror, but it actually recreates their counter counterfeits by kind of by the material the machine collected from everybody else who looked into the mirror before. So, so there is another view where it was shown in Seoul 